In this video, we'll be looking at addition for second grade. This is the second video for addition. This video will be focusing on TEKS 2.4C, 2.4D, and 2.7C. These TEKS all have to do with solving addition word problems. The TEKS that we're looking at basically focus on these three things. Students will need to solve one and two step word problems using a variety of strategies. So the video number one for addition is exactly what the students should be using, using their open number lines, using their front end addition, using concrete materials, using pictorial models, and the standard algorithm. Students also will be generating uh, word problems from a given number sentence and then having to solve those word problems. Students will also be representing a, a word problem and then solving them. We're going to take each of these and we're going to look at them um, as to how we can help the students. So first of all, we want to look at the TEK where the students have to solve a problem. Um, the strategies, again, like I said, are in video number one, the 2.4B. So we kind of want to look at uh, two parts to this. One is looking at the types of word problems we can uh, provide for our students. And this um, chart kind of shows you some different word problems that we want to provide for them. Uh, we can ignore the multiplying and dividing, uh, but we want to give problems that students will have to join, they'll have to separate, they're offered part, part, whole, and they're comparing problems. And note that in these different uh, word problems, the unknown has moved to all three parts. Um, so it could be the beginning, it could be the change, it could be um, the ending that we don't know. So just make sure that you're modeling and you're providing students multiple types of word problems as they solve them. Um, the next thing we want to talk about are the keywords, and we want to make sure that this is not a focus of any um, trying to understand a word problem. We want the students to look at the actions that are happening in the story, so we have our action posters that can be shown to our students to help them uh, in doing their solving. So action posters, as opposed to keywords, um, do not make them a focus. Do not even use them for your most struggling students. Um, we can write some word problems, every teacher can, that uses the words that students assume are the key word, but they're just part of the story. And students have a hard time separating that out. And a lot of times there are no keywords within the word problems. So no keywords uh, when the students are solving their uh, word problems. The next TEK that the students are going to be working on is where they have to generate uh, number sentences or generate a word problem from given number sentences. So these are all addition number sentences that could be used and students can generate whatever story problem as long as it matches the number sentence that's given. Um, so students are probably going to be most successful at the top one. I have something, I'm joining or putting something together and I'm looking for a result. These are a little bit more difficult and a lot of times we don't think of them as a um, as a, an addition problem, we see them as a missing part and we want to subtract to find the answer. But the story problem in itself is that we're joining or putting something together and that's taking the focus back to looking at the action that's happening in the story. So as you're having students generate their word problems, just provide them with number sentences that have them do all three uh, where the missing part might be. The last part of this TEK is where the students are showing representations. They're having to represent the word problems. So this just gives us a really quick model of some things. I'll just take that part off for right now. If the students are given a word problem, for example, this one uh, talks about Betty and Janice. They're picking strawberries. Betty filled her bucket with 57 strawberries. Janice filled her bucket with 46 strawberries. How many strawberries did the girls pick? So we want to talk to the students about what's the action happening in the story, that they're putting those strawberries together. And our representations of the problem itself can be through a bar model. I mean, one thing about the bar model that we want the students to understand is that we don't, as teachers, want to always model that bar being right in the middle. Notice this is a little bit off to the side so that the students don't see these as equal pieces. Equal pieces insinuates multiplication, and these are not equal 57 and 46. So the bar models are one way. Um, it doesn't matter if you put the plus or the question mark at the top and the information at the bottom or you flip it around and you put the question mark at the bottom and the information at the top. 
You can also do more of a part, part, whole model where we're kind of telling the story. I have this large amount of strawberries and these are my two buckets. Um, or more like a number bond type look where I have my unknown total amount, but these are the two parts that make up it, make it up. Um, the number sentence is also a way to represent um, and it should match the story problem that's given. Even if, I, if it has a missing part um, or I have an unknown in the middle of the addition problem, I want to write that number sentence with that unknown in the middle and not switching it to a subtraction problem just yet. I can also represent how I would solve that problem. Um, and this is sort of taking back to the TEAK 2.4b where the students are using open number lines, front and addition, base 10 pictures. So at the top part, we were looking at representing the story itself, but I can also represent how I solve that problem. So these are just some representations um, that you would want to expose your students to, have them practice with um, as they're working through these uh, the TEAK of represent and solve word problems. Um, if you have any questions about word problems or these TEAKs, you can look at your instructional talk page or you can contact us.